Have you been wondering where is the best place to buy a lake home in the southeast? If you have been looking for that lake home to live in or vacation in in the states of Virginia or North Carolina, then this video is for you. We're going to be comparing a couple of more lakes. So this is part three of my video series as to why I chose Smith Mountain Lake, Virginia to relocate to and to be my home. So uh, if you saw any of my other videos, part one and part two, just to do a brief little recap here, I described my journey of my family and I, and we first uh, looked and actually we built a home up in Maryland at Deep Creek Lake. We enjoyed that for about five years and um, we quickly decided that, that that lake was too small, it was overbuilt for lots of reasons, the climate was extremely cold. We wanted a warmer climate, a larger lake. So we started a five-year journey to look all over Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and a little bit into Tennessee as well. So dive right in with me as we go into part three, and I'm going to compare Smith Mountain Lake to Lake Gaston and Lake Norman, all right? Lake uh, Gaston is in Virginia and in North Carolina. So when I talk about Smith Mountain Lake, I'm going to refer to it as SML, which uh, it is the nickname that it's uh, widely known for. So comparing Smith Mountain Lake to Lake Gaston. Now Smith Mountain Lake is the largest lake in the state of Virginia that's continuously in the borders of Virginia. It is uh, very pristine waters, very clean, very large, and lots of recreation. Now we're going to compare that some of the features to Lake Gaston. Now Lake Gaston straddles the uh, North Carolina and Virginia border, so it does go partly into North Carolina. Now the first thing we're going to compare is the lake water level fluctuation. And uh, as you saw in my earlier videos, that was one of the main reasons we chose Smith Mountain Lake, SML, uh, because the water does not fluctuate that much. It's uh, more in inches as opposed to in feet like it is at other lakes. So because the Army Corps of Engineers uh, dammed this lake in the 1960s, talking about SML, and uh, then it has been regulated and maintained by Appalachian Power. So it is hydroelectric power and Appalachian Power controls it. Now, uh, it's the main body of water that feeds Smith Mountain Lake is the Roanoke River. There are others, but the main one is the Roanoke River, and that actually continues down below the dam to Lake Gaston, which is further southeast. So uh, a lot of people I have spoken to at Lake Gaston, um, you know, kind of mentioned that, oh, those people up at uh, Smith Mountain Lake kind of control our water. So it is a little bit of a, contentious point, I guess, that it is down the dam, so a little bit at the mercy of what comes from the dam at Smith Mountain Lake. But get, getting into Lake Gaston, um, it is very similar. It is hydroelectric power. That one, though, is controlled by Dominion Energy. So luckily, though, the lake water fluctuation does not fluctuate that much, so it is uh, very stable and managed by the power company. So those two things are very similar between the two lakes. Now, water quality, Smith Mountain Lake is regularly tested and has always had pristine waters. Uh, Ferrum College tests regularly at all parts of the lake. Now, I will say that just last year, we had an incident in a small portion of the lake for a while in the summer where there was some algae bloom. Uh, but in the 20 plus years I've either been visiting or, or owning property here at SML, uh, that's the first time I've seen that happen. Now. Um, Lake Gaston is also good, and there are active measures to maintain water quality there as well. Uh, next, I want to talk about permanent boathouses. So because of water fluctuation, that really determines a lot about whether permanent uh, pilings can be driven and a boathouse can be put in. So uh, Lake Gaston, though, is very similar to Smith Mountain Lake. I've seen a lot more floaters there. Uh, because of fl some fluctuation, but overall it's pretty similar. Uh, it's pretty standard, pretty uh, fluctuation does not, does not fluctuate huge amounts, so there are some fixed boathouses there as well. Uh, next uh, point I'm going to talk about comparing the two is the climate. Now SML is in the Blue Ridge Mountains and we have uh, beautiful views, so that's one big difference to me is that you'll see Smith Mountain itself is uh, a beautiful backdrop to our, our lakes. So uh, Smith Mountain is gorgeous 
and all the Blue Ridge around us kind of gives us a respite from the hot summer days and the climate. Whereas when you go down to Lake Gaston, it's a lot flatter and uh, lower level climate wise, sea level. So, um, you know, you're not going to have the beauty of the mountains nor the little bit of cooler air. Uh, but overall, you know, the two lakes are similar in that we have all four seasons. Uh, winters are quite mild, uh, but you can still enjoy all four seasons. Our next point we're going to talk about is proximity to nuclear power. There is no nuclear power on uh, Smith Mountain Lake. There are in a lot of others, and uh, Lake Anna for one, and, and many others that I'm going to talk about. Now, Lake Gaston does not have a, a nuclear power plant on it. However, in the town of Roanoke Rapids nearby, there are, um, there are some power stations from that nuclear power. So just may or may not be a concern for you. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about average home prices. They are a bit higher at SML than at Lake Gaston. Average home prices for anywhere near near the water are average are going to be a minimum six to seven hundred thousand for a single family home. Um, and at Lake Gaston, it is more rural and uh, more spread out. You may have diverse, more diverse home types, and the prices are going to be a little bit lower there at Gaston. Uh, the last thing I'm going to talk about in the comparison is the amenities. Lake Gaston is much more remote, so you're not going to have the waterfront restaurants availability and shopping and, and things like that. So because it's more remote, you're not going to have those amenities and you'll have to plan accordingly when you are, are stacking up on supplies and groceries or whatever that might be. Okay, so next we're going to compare SML to Lake Norman. Now, Lake Norman, as you probably know, is in North Carolina, and it is in uh, very close proximity to the city of Charlotte. So when we compare the two and we look at uh, Lake Norman, we have um, the lake level fluctuation that we talked about before. Now, that is going to vary a lot more at Lake Norman than the other two lakes. So Lake Norman is um, having more significant water releases and it really will restrict your waterfront usage because of that. So they're measuring in feet, not inches, the, the water fluctuation levels. So that affects next is the permanent boathouses. SML, you can via permit construct permanent boathouses and, uh, and pilings. So you have a more substantial boat dock. Whereas at Lake Norman, they are um, mostly constructed to be floating, to fluctuate as the water goes up and down. The next thing we're gonna talk about is water quality. Now, Smith Mountain Lake, as I said, is monitored and is generally very, very good. Now, at Lake Norman, they have had issues with runoff from um, algae blooms, and uh, also there was quite a scare because there is coal ash from the nuclear power plant. Um, they have found some elevated levels due to that coal ash, and there was some um, cancer incidents, and they were investigating the drinking water there a few years ago because of those high levels. Now, that I think they have possibly straightened that out some since then, but something to look at when you do your research is uh, the water quality. There have been some issues there at Lake Norman. Uh, the next thing we're talking about is climate. So as I mentioned earlier, SML, because we're in the mountains, we do have a, a bit of a respite in, from the hot summer days, and we do have, still have all four seasons. Now at Lake Norman, because it is further south in the Carolinas, you're going to have um, hotter summers, but that could be good for you because uh, you've got a longer boating season, longer swimming season in the water because you've got higher temperatures. So something to consider depending upon uh, what you're looking for. Average home prices. As I said here at SML, average home price is gonna be six, 700,000 for anything close to the water. And at Lake Norman, it's gonna be more in the $800,000 range. And uh, so with this low inventory environment, I'm finding it has been a bit, a bit harder to find uh, property at Lake Norman and uh, at a higher price point as well. So that is something to consider. Uh, when you're looking. So as far as uh, the next item is amenities. Now SML, as I said, has many uh, waterfront restaurants and some shopping, so you have a lot of amenities. However, at Lake Norman, just simply because of the proximity to the city of Charlotte, you're going to have a lot more when it comes to fine dining and, uh, and amenities there as well. 
Although I will say, you know, at, at SML, we are sandwiched between the cities of Roanoke and Lynchburg. So it's not too far to get to uh, cultural and art uh, type of, of abilities and, and resources there and uh, have some high-end restaurants. As well, here's the lake. We have some wonderful restaurants. But I will say Charlotte, the city of Charlotte, because it is so close to Lake Norman, you're going to have uh, a host of amenities there. So there you have it. I'm comparing SML, Smith Mountain Lake, to Lake Norman and Lake Gaston. So thank you for watching. If you are curious about what Smith Mountain Lake has to offer and how it compares to these other lakes, watch my other videos and feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is below in the, uh, the details below. You can find my information as far as website and contact me there. I'm happy to help you in your journey to find a waterfront lake home anywhere here in Virginia. My team and I cover the whole state and I have partners in North Carolina if you decide to go that route as well. So reach out to me today and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.